Alright, and then um on your tape, I was listening to the song Alone and you said that you dropped out of school. Like what made you drop out of school? Was you trying to focus more on music or you was just you just wasn't fucking with it? Right, well I was a lot of shit. I couldn't focus. I had, you know, my grandma was in and out of the hospital. Yeah. I had some shit going on outside of school. I, I was really like, I don't know. I was too stressed out and I couldn't focus. Yeah. So I just keep staying home, staying home and it got to the point where I didn't go, so I just dropped out to focus on my career. Okay, okay. Yeah. Alright, for sure. So, since you do that, like, how, you feel like your career been moving a lot faster, or like, you know, going up more since since you've been focusing more on music? Yeah, definitely. I got some good opportunities, like, yeah. I've, seen, I've seen a lot of growth in myself. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So, like, where, where you see yourself in five years? Like, where, where you kind of want to take this shit? To the top. I'm trying. I ain't talking about Grammys. I'm talking about building charity homes from D.C., giving yeah. back to the schools, investing. Hey. Putting the guys on, getting their family out, getting my family out. Uh, sure. You said giving back. You 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 um big on giving back. You trying you know help niggas yeah, come every, up for where you come from. Every Christmas, me and my aunt we go feed the homeless. Oh for sure, so nah, I respect. Back, yeah. Hey, when, when y'all start doing that? Sure. She been doing it longer than me. I just started four years ago. Four years ago. She been doing it like ten years, seven years. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. All right. Yeah. Nah, respect on that, man. I respect that a lot. So, um, your music, it seems like it got like a lot of pain in it. It's like, it's making music kind of therapeutic for you. Yeah, it helped me take away a lot of problems. I yeah. got my music, express myself. Yeah. And I know other people going through the same shit, so yeah. it kind of I was about to say, same. we don't talk about none of that. We talk about like real life shit. Yeah. You know like shit that people can relate to. Man, time. Yeah. Cause everybody, I ain't gonna lie, everybody can relate to that trap shit, drilling shit, killing shit. Everybody and you're not gonna make it. Having the same flow as everybody else. Yeah. You gotta yeah. switch it up. You gotta find what's right for you. That sounds different. Yeah. And when you find that flow, boom. let me ask you, like, you, you get in the car, you turn it on. Like, what's the first music you turn it on? John Ryan. I'm turning on rap, of course. Um, what type though? Like, what type? Uh, it, it, I don't say it depend on the mood. Like, if I'm going, to, it depend on the mood. Like, if it's a Friday or something, I may turn on some trap shit. Like. Honestly, if it's early in the morning, I can't lie, listen to some R&B, some smooth shit. But, like, I like to listen to shit that I can, like, relate to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, don't get me wrong, I love the gangster shit, but I ain't trying to listen to a nigga talk about spinning all day because I'm not the nigga who spin, you know what I'm saying? I listen to a nigga talking about get, getting some money or, like, yeah, like, like a nigga like, like a nigga like uh, Money Man. I listen, I listen to a nigga like Money Man or something, you know what I'm saying? A nigga talking about getting some money or talking about, you know, or a nigga talking about some shit I've been through, but... You know, if it's just a nigga talking about just fucking bitches, getting, you know, just doing crazy. You know, a nigga that ain't talking about nothing, that doesn't really relate to shit. what I'm going through. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not just listening to it because okay. some people like, it's like, a, um, wait, before I get into that, do you, do you write or do you just freestyle? And, and do you do both. Okay, yeah, because yeah. my thing is like, don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with freestyling, but I feel like some people... They just get in the booth and say anything that comes to their mind. I feel like, you know, even if you don't write your shit, at least think of something that makes sense before you just get in there and just say some shit that rhymes. Take your time. They don't be taking their time. Yeah, yeah. But for us, when we get into the studio, that shit just flow. Yeah. Because uh, we, we done been through so much shit. There's so much yeah. shit to talk about. Man, definitely don't punch him. Like, yeah. Oh, you don't punch him? I mean, no, nah, he, I mean, he definitely don't write. I'm tripping. Oh, that's, oh, God, yeah. None of us do. That yeah. shit just flow. Yeah. You got it. Smoke a little weed, nah, get your vibe. Nah, this is why I write some sounds. The songs you write gonna sound different from the songs you freestyle. You oh, yeah, that? for sure, yeah. It's a different type of flow. Yeah. And you can really hear it in the way a nigga flows. Speaking on what you're saying, you yeah. can hear it like, like what he just said, Lost in Paradise. That's a freestyle. You know it's a freestyle versus alone. That was yeah. written in structure. So, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, my definitely. So, y'all the type, y'all be, um, be in the studio every day, like, Shit, I ain't gonna lie, we we get in the studio as much as we can. Yeah. yeah. It be like too much. Like, yeah, you know y'all live. It's too much, but that's what shit be throwing me up. Yeah. Too much shit going on. Yeah, a lot and of it's shit like, going on. Sometimes it be hard. You try to film, shoot videos. Yeah. You try to get in the studio, so you. Yeah. Yeah. 